Well, I've had a very interesting day here in St Andrews uh, because I've had um, eight students and they've all asked really interesting questions about harmony, wanting to find out how things work. And we've been comparing the music of Miles Davis with that of Bach and just seeing how things work. And I find this really interesting. Uh, one of the students asked me if I could play Stolen Moments, a great piece uh, by uh, Oliver Nelson. It's got this wonderful start. <laughs> bits in the middle that you think are wrong notes like this. You're not supposed to do that. But if you put that clash in this context, it sounds great. So how does it work? Well, it's really simple, actually. You take a, let's say this is a C minor 7, so you've got C, E flat, G, B flat, D. You take the D out of the top, move it down an octave, and you get, and you play the C in the bass. Great. Now, I first discovered this as a music student playing this Bach Saraband that went like this in the key of A minor. Hello, that's the same chord. That's the. That's that semitone clash in there. Ah, oh, sounds great. And I also thought to myself, that's the second chord of Autumn Leaves. And so instead of playing, I could use Bach's chord. Move it down. Oh yeah, move it down. And James Bond. It's just terrific the way it works. Now, um, Ravel uh, uses this. You hear it again and again. So Pavan. That's the first chord of the great standard law. So instead of playing, you could play it with Ravel's chord. So these semitone clashes are really interesting. Now you're not supposed to do them because it sounds wrong if you do this. But I find that a fascinating sound because kind of bassy uses that semitone like this. Great sound. So we put that all together with a uh, tune that one of my students was playing, Fats Waller's Ain't Misbehaving, and a mixture of uh, Bach and just whatever comes into my head. It could sound like this. Here we go. Okay, I'm away from a tea. Bye just now.